Timothy, what are you doing? It's skyscraper day. What? Mmm, <laughs> salami. Get it? Meat. Planet one up. Hey everyone, I am Nate and welcome back to Planet One Up. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at the top 10 September celebrations. So make sure you have pen and paper. You're going to want to write all these down. They're all fantastic. None of them are boring. None of them are weird. Uh, and you can definitely invite all your friends to celebrate them with. All of that was a lie. You're about to find out why. In at number 10 is Hug a Vegetarian Day on September 27th or September 30th. The history of Hug a Vegetarian Day is tied to PETA, a non-profit organization that stands for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. Observing this holiday is easy and encourages people to show recognition to those who have opted for meat-free or animal product-free lives. Not unrelated, but more like fact adjacent, Check out something like the Impossible Burger or Beyond Meat on Google. It's a burger pack that is made from plants, but bleeds. Just Google it after this video. It's cool. Mmm, tasty. PETA also sponsors a Hug Pledge program where you can sponsor with a pledge to give hugs to all vegans and vegetarians you meet. Get it? Meat. In at number nine is World Gratitude Day on September 21st. This celebration started in 1965 in Hawaii when it was decided internationally that one day a year to appreciate and express gratitude for the amazing things in the world was needed. Designed to be a reflective day for not only world advancements, this day is also great for looking at what makes you happy and positive. You can celebrate this day by showing your friends or family how much you appreciate them, compliment a stranger, or by even doing something for your community like cleaning up rubbish, planting trees, or high-fiving your server at Macca's. World Gratitude Day is all about taking a moment and appreciating the things that spark joy. In at number 8 is Ask a Stupid Question Day on September 28th. What? Uh <laughs> On September 28th, it's time to dig deep for the silly, bizarre and outlandish questions you've been keeping to yourself all year long. This special day dates back to the 1980s when teachers wanted to encourage students to ask more questions and get more engaged in the classroom. Whether young or old, people often hold back from speaking their mind or asking questions due to the fear of ridicule. This day is meant to discourage that mentality and get you actively asking those burning questions. Sure. Your classmates may laugh at you for asking why the word lisp has an S in it, why people say money doesn't grow on trees but banks have branches, or why does everyone think Humpty Dumpty is an egg when it never actually says that in the nursery rhyme. But hey, teachers say there is no such thing as a stupid question, right? In at number 7 is... Salami Day on September 7th. Mmm, salami. Yep, as in the meat. A holiday for... Salami. Salami Day was first observed in 2006 in Virginia by the Salami Appreciation Society, or SAS for short. Salami is often overlooked in the world of deli meats, so SAS decided it was time to slice out a little time to celebrate it. Salami is a cured, fermented and air-dried sausage that can be stored at room temperature for over a month once it has been cut and is a great source of potassium and protein. So spread the word and slam a salami sub or even partake in salami al chocolata, which is a chocolate salami dessert because who doesn't love meat? And chocolate. Hmm, if you're ever feeling sad for salami not being appreciated, this day will cure you. Because it's a cured meat. We mentioned that earlier in that explanation. So in at number six is Eat an extra dessert day on September 4th. Whoever coined the phrase you can't have your cake and eat it too would be rolling in their birthday cakeless grave after hearing about this celebration. Eat an extra dessert day is a sweet treat to kick off the September celebrations list. Though the origins behind this unofficial holiday are unclear. When did we just collectively decide that September 4th was treat yourself day? Not that I'm complaining though. Getting involved in this day is a piece of cake. Thanks for putting up with that. This holiday encourages people to do what the name implies. Indulge in a second, third, or even seventh helping of ice cream cakes or whatever treats you feel guilty about inhaling over the other 364 days of the year. Fun fact, the word dessert comes from the French word désavir, which means to clear the table. So make sure you celebrate this day on September 4th to get your just desserts 
eating just desserts. In at number five is Skyscraper Day on September 3rd. Because why not? Taking strange holidays to new heights, Skyscraper Day is celebrated on September 3rd. By today's standards, a skyscraper is a building that has at least 40 floors. However, when the term was coined during the late 1880s building boom in America, a skyscraper was the tallest building in the area. So how can I participate in this holiday? Well, I'm glad you asked. You could visit the top of your local skyscraper or super high building. In Sydney, you could visit the Center Point Tower and have a meal at the 360 degree revolving restaurant. Skyscrapers hard to find where you live? Just find a shopping center with an elevator and show your respect to these tall boys by visiting as many floors as you can. Not satisfied? Build your own skyscraper. Timothy, what are you doing? It's skyscraper day. Whip up one using dry pasta, paddle pop sticks, Lego, whatever. That way everyone will know that you're dedicated to taking your skyscraper related admiration to new levels. In at number four is Felt Hat Day on September 15th. Up until the 20th century, hats were an integral part of fashion and daily attire. And in the 19th century, felt was a commonly used material for hats. Designed to generally protect the wearer from the elements, hats have also historically been used as status symbols. Did you know that back in the day, men with a lower social rank had to bare their heads to those of a higher ranking? I'm not sure how exposing your head became a sign of respect. Today's common hat practice is just to remove your hat while indoors, much simpler. To make sure to stay ahead of this celebration and use hashtag National Hat Day on September 15th. In at number three is Hug Your Hound Day. Uh, in, during September, there's no date, very inconsistent, all over the place. So, you now need to hug your hound uh, every day of the year. There, I said it. If you aren't hugging your dog every day, you're barking mad in my opinion. But in case you wanted a special day for more dog related puppy hugs, we have Hug Your Hound Day. This fetching day is a sneaky one for the list as it can be observed mid-September or even back in August. But hey, we didn't do an August celebration, so here we are. Deal with it. Hashtag pug life. This holiday encourages dog owners to focus on their dog's health safety and happiness. I've thrown together a guide on how to celebrate. <coughs> Step one, treat your dog on long walks, healthy treats and rough house with them. Step two, repeat step one every day indefinitely. So throw a bone to man's best friend and hug a doggo. In at number two is talk like a pirate day on September 19th. Ah, oh, you heard me eh? Talk Like a Pirate Day is real and celebrated on September 19th. Created in 1995 by Old Chum Bucket and Captain Slappy, uh, Google it, I'm not making this up. This is a day for swashbuckling pirate goodness to spend with your closest hearties. Uh, they're, all, they're all friends, they're the same thing. Talk Like a Pirate Day, or Talapt for short, is internationally recognized and celebrated by companies too. Google search and Facebook both have the option to choose pirate as a language choice. And in 2012, Minecraft added its own pirate speak language option. And Krispy Kreme used to give out free donuts to people dressed like pirates on the day. But shiver me timbers, they stopped doing so in 2017. So, whether you're a lily livered land lover or a swashbuckling pirate of the Caribbean, make sure to use hashtag talk like a pirate day to share your adventures of the seven seas. Before we reveal what number one is, what have you thought of the list so far? Have you heard of these holidays? Give us an R in the comment section down below if you had. But it is now time for number one. In at number one for the best September celebration is... Punctuation Day on September 24th. Bringing this list to a full stop is Punctuation Day, which is, and I quote, a celebration of the lowly comma. Correctly used quotation marks, and other proper uses of periods, semicolons, and the ever mysterious ellipses. Founded in 2004 by Jeff Rubin, Punctuation Day simply promotes the correct use of punctuation. That's it. To be fair, incorrect punctuation can entirely change the meaning of a sentence. For example, let's eat grandpa, versus let's eat grandpa. Proper punctuation can save lives. 
So bust out your 2B pencil and make sure your quotation marks are used correctly. Practice some perfect punctuation and show everyone you know what a semicolon actually does. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you like as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon just down here as well as follow us on Instagram. I'm Nate, this is Planet One Up and we'll see you all next time. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, maybe check out these as well as head on over to the channel, subscribe and follow us on Instagram.